to add a new kernel in Jupyter Notebook, you can follow these steps depending on whether you are using pip or conda. So the first method is to add a kernel using a virtual environment that is pip. So you need to create a virtual environment by writing this command python m virtual environment my environment so the next step was to activate it in windows using my n scripts activate and then after that what you need to do is you need to install the ipy kernel using this command pip install ipy kernel so after running this command so everything will be installed into your system and then you need to add the kernel to Jupyter uh, by writing this command python dash n ipy kernel install user name is equal to my environment display name python my environment then you need to restart the Jupyter notebook uh, by writing this command Jupyter notebook Now over here you can see a new kernel has been added and the name of the kernel is my environment. So you can open that as well. So the next method is to add a kernel using conda. So for that you need to open anaconda prompt and you need to create a conda environment by writing conda create name my environment python is equal to 3.9 okay so after writing this command everything will be installed over here and then uh, we need to activate it using conda activate my environment and then what we need to do is we need to install ipy kernel so we need to write conda install ipy kernel we need to proceed so uh, the packages are being downloaded and extracted So the next step is to add the kernel to Jupyter. So we need to write python m ipy kernel install user name is equal to my environment display name python my environment and then if we restart the Jupyter notebook we will see this environment has been added into the system so the third method is to check available kernel so after adding a kernel we can verify it is installed by writing this command jupyter kernel 
spec list so we can see that there are two available kernels my environment and python 3 then we can also remove an unwanted kernel by writing the command jupyter kernel spec uninstall my environment So it's showing that it has removed my environment. Now let us again see whether it has been removed or not. So for that we need to again write Jupyter kernel spec list. So we can see now only one available kernel is the Python 3.